Hello, my name is Major General Greg Porter. I'm the Adjutant General for the State of Wyoming. In the coming months, you're going to hear me talk a lot about how I believe the Wyoming Military Department is the sword and the shield for our state and nation. We are lethal and effective on the battlefield. We are responsive and professional at home. As leaders, one of our primary responsibilities is to look throughout our formations and identify those obstacles that keep us from executing the important missions that we're assigned. Two of those obstacles that we, we observe is that of sexual harassment and sexual assault. Now we know sexual harassment and sexual assault are prevalent in, in our society. And as with most issues in society, what happens on out there also gets transferred to our ranks. I can tell you as, the tape, as of the taping of this video today, the Wyoming Military Department is supporting no less than 10 victims of sexual assault. Now some of those victims, those, those assaults occurred many years ago and they're just now feeling comfortable enough to come forward and ask for assistance. But I will also tell you that, that we've had an assault as recent as two months ago. The assaults seem to be split pretty, split pretty evenly between air and army, but the fact is they still occur. And as long as they occur within our ranks, we as leaders must continue to observe and train and mentor and prevent those uh, the instances from happening. You know as a professional that sexual assault is not tolerated in, our, in, in, in any form in our department. But I think what you must also know is we have an obligation as leaders and soldiers and airmen, if we suspect or we think that sexual assault could, could occur, we have to take action to stop it. As we learn more about sexual assault, we also know, we've also learned that it's very rare that just the victim and the perpetrator were the only ones involved in the, in, in the assault. Most times, oftentimes, there were bystanders that knew that something wasn't quite right and could have stepped forward and prevented the assault from occurring. That's what we must, what we must improve in the Wyoming Military Department is the prevention of that assault. Being a guardsman extends far beyond your time on duty. Because we are soldiers, citizen soldiers and airmen, our behaviors, our adherence to our values and our professionalism can make a real positive impact in our communities. More importantly, because we are guardsmen and we are trained to do the right thing, even though it's the hard thing, we can make a positive impact in our society. Commit to yourself to make a positive change every day and start today. To bring it back to a little more important and effect in, in our Wyoming military department, as a leadership, we've really noticed three things that have been common in sexual assaults that I want to make sure that, that you as soldiers and airmen are aware of. First thing is alcohol. Fully two thirds of the sexual assaults we've reviewed, alcohol has been had some sort of mitigating factor into it. Second thing is when we leave our state, whether that's on personal business, whether that's TDY or deployment, we know when we leave our units, our battle buddies and our wingmen, we are more susceptible to sexual assault Please make sure that your workforce knows that when you leave our state, there's, there's greater risk. And the last thing is, even though it's, it's newer to us, the use of dating apps, we start to see an increase in, in sexual assault issues arising from dating apps. So please, again, make sure that your workforce understands that there's risk there and, and bad things could happen if, if we, don't, uh, we don't take that seriously. Wyoming Military Department has an abundance of resources to help you if, uh, if you think you're hurting or you're in need. That, that can stretch from chaplain assistance to financial counseling, psychological counseling, virtually any sort of assistance you need, the Wyoming Military Department can provide that and it's 100% confidential. So remember our training, ACE, Ask, Care and Escort. If you think one of your soldiers or airmen or fellow employees is hurting, do not hesitate to bring it to the chain of command and we will get them help. The last thing I want to tell you is, is just thank you for your service. You are, as, as guardsmen and employees of the military department, you are a treasure to our communities and you will continue to, to be so. We cannot ignore sexual assault and we cannot uh, allow it to continue in our ranks. It's not in accordance with our values. Thank you for all you do and ride for the brand.